I'd like to talk a little bit more about Forma 36, which is our design and component library. Forma 36 is an open source library, which means you're always free to inspect the code, fork it, and change it to your desired abilities. Forma 36 gives you all of the components that are used to build Contentful out of the box, and it's useful for building your own apps. When you want to create UI quickly and easily, and get right to building your business logic. We're going to look at using Forma 36 in a page location. Again, page locations are simply full page locations, excluding the Contentful header bar, that allow you to display data inside of Contentful, have access to the SDK, which means you can make network calls and grab entry data from Contentful, while still keeping the user inside of Contentful, so they can go about using Contentful in the way they need and also see augmented data such as a dashboard for a more integrated experience. Most modern editors will give you the information you need when importing Forma 36 components in order to understand how they work. Of course you're always free to check out the documentation and storybook to understand completely how these components function the props that they take, and the kind of information they can display. To give an example of importing Forma 36 components, let's build a full page location using the Workbench components. Here I'm going to import Workbench components, which are simply display components that allow for me to create the look and feel of a contentful interface as you might encounter as you're using the regular contentful app. As you can see, we've imported some components from Forma 36. This includes the workbench, as well as a card and a button component. Down in the render method, we use these components to create a workbench. Workbenches can be found inside of Contentful, and it's a common UI element that we use to create full page views. Going over into the browser, we can see what this looks like. We've got a title of my dashboard, we have a refresh button, and in our main section, we have some content. Back in the editor, I want to point out a few more useful features when working with Forma 36 components, as well as using a modern editor such as VS Code. As you can see for our button component, we have a simple button layout, but what happens when we want to change the styling of the button? Well, first of all, buttons allow for different prop types. As you can see here outlined in VS Code, we have a popover that shows different props that can go into the button. For my example, I want to check out what the different button types are as a prop. If I go to start typing button types, you can see that the editor is already auto-completing, and this is a feature of TypeScript. And as I auto-complete, I also get all of the options that I can use to see what the different button types are. This is definitely useful for when I'm coding, and I don't want to necessarily jump between the documentation all the time. I can easily see how these props are affected via the components when I'm using something like TypeScript. Here I'm going to choose the warning button type, and back in Chrome, you can see that our button type has changed based off of the styling allowed in Forma 36.